the special counsel, Robert S. Mueller III, announced charges on Monday against three former campaign advisors of President Trump. Paul J. Manafort and his protege, Rick Gates, surrendered to federal authorities and were charged with money laundering, tax fraud, foreign lobbying violations and lying to the federal government. George Papadopoulos secretly pleaded guilty three weeks ago to lying to the FBI about his encounters with Russian contacts. The charges come after months of investigation, but the timeline of activity that shaped the special counsel's actions stretches back two years. The following is a look at how we got here. The dates in bold mark events revealed in court documents released on Monday by the Department of Justice. Donald J. Trump announced his campaign for president. Mr. Trump officially announced his presidential campaign at Trump Tower. Credit Todd Heisler of New York Times to FBI first tried to inform the Democratic National Committee that they had been a target of a cyber attack. Michael T. Flynn was paid more than $45,000 to deliver a speech at a dinner for the Russian media outlet, Russia Today, in Moscow. He sat next to Vladimir V. Putin, the Russian president. Mr. Flynn, center-left, sat beside Mr. Putin, center-right, at a dinner in Moscow in 2015, credit pool photo by Mikhail Klementyev M.R. Papadopoulos was named a Trump foreign policy advisor and told that a principal foreign policy focus of the campaign was an improved U.S. relationship with Russia. George Papadopoulos, a former Trump campaign advisor. Credit MR. Papadopoulos met in Italy with a professor with ties to the Russian government, according to court documents. The professor appeared to take great interest in defendant Papadopoulos when he learned Mr. Papadopoulos had joined the campaign, the documents state. On Monday a Senate aide identified the professor as Joseph Mifsud, a London-based professor of international relations. Mr. Papadopoulos met in London with Mr. Mifsud and a Russian woman whom Mr. Papadopoulos described as a relative of Mr. Putin. Mr. Papadopoulos later learned, the court documents say, that the woman was not related to Putin. Paul J. Manafort began work for Mr. Trump's presidential campaign as an unpaid advisor to wrangle delegates for the Republican National Convention in Cleveland. Mr. Trump met in Washington with his foreign policy advisors, including Mr. Papadopoulos, who told the group that he had connections to help arrange a meeting between Mr. Trump and Mr. Putin. Others at the meeting noted that Russia was under sanctions. Jeff Sessions, now the attorney general but then a senator from Alabama and a top Trump campaign advisor, quickly shut down the subject and said it should not be discussed again, a former campaign official said. Mr. Mifsud introduced Mr. Papadopoulos by email to a contact who claimed connections to the Russian foreign ministry. Mr. Papadopoulos and the contact had multiple conversations by Skype and email over the next weeks about setting the groundwork for a potential meeting between the Trump campaign and Russian government officials, according to court documents. Mr. Mifsud informed Mr. Papadopoulos over breakfast in London that the Russians had dirt on Hillary Clinton. Mr. Mifsud told Mr. Papadopoulos that the Russians had emails of Clinton and they numbered in the thousands, Mr. Papadopoulos later told the FBI Mr. Manafit was promoted to chairman and chief strategist for the Trump campaign. Mr. Manafit in Washington in April, 2016, credit Jeanberg Reuters MR. Trump on the support of enough delegates to clinch the Republican presidential nomination. Donald Trump Jr. was contacted by Rob Goldstone, a British-born tabloid reporter, offering to connect him with Emin and Arisa Galaroff, who claimed to have incriminating information about Mrs. Clinton's relationship with the Russians. Three hours later, Mr. Trump accepted the Republican nomination for president and promised to deliver a major address detailing Mrs. Clinton's corrupt dealings that gave favorable treatment to foreign governments, including Russia. Donald Trump Jr. received an email on June 3, 2016, promising dirt on Hillary Clinton. The information was described as being part of Russia's support for his father's presidential bid. His reply, I love it, published on July 11, 2017 credit image by Sam Hodgson for the New York Times Donald Trump Jr. met with Natalia V. Veselnitskaya, a Russian lawyer, at Trump Tower to discuss what an intermediary promised as incriminating information about Mrs. 
Clinton. Six others were present at the meeting, including Mr. Manafit Jared Kushner, Mr. Trump's son-in-law and now senior advisor Mr. Goldstone and others. The New York Times learned that the memo that Ms. Veselnitskaya brought to the meeting had been shared with the Kremlin, and incorporated language that the Russian government sent to an American congressman. CrowdStrike, a cybersecurity firm hired by the Democratic National Committee, said that two groups of Russianers, called Cozy Bear and Fancy Bear, had penetrated the committee's systems and gained access to thousands of emails and confidential documents. WikiLeaks released nearly 20,000 dead Democratic emails. Mr. Manafit was ousted from the Trump campaign days after published reports disclosed his financial dealings with the pro-Russia party of a former Ukrainian president, Viktor F. Yanukovych. Mr. Trump was elected president of the United States. Mr. Trump appointed Michael T. Flynn as national security adviser. Then-President Obama announced sanctions against the Russian government, citing attempts to influence the 2016 presidential election through cyber attacks. Around this time, Mr. Flynn discussed the sanctions with Sergei I. Kislyak, the Russian ambassador to the United States. Mr. Obama in December of 2016, credit Pablo Martinez Monsivais Associated Press M.R. Papadopoulos was interviewed by the FBI for the first time. According to court documents, he made false statements during this interview about his interactions with Russian contacts. Mr. Flynn resigned as National Security Advisor following revelations that he had misled Vice President Mike Pence and other top officials about his conversations with Mr. Kislyak in December. In February, Michael T. Flynn stepped down as National Security Advisor amid a scandal surrounding his contacts with Russia before President Trump took office. Published on Feb. 14, 2017 Credit Image by Doug Mills to New York Times SMR. Papadopoulos was interviewed for the second time by the FBI. The next day, according to court documents, he shut down his Facebook account in an attempt to erase messages with foreign contacts. Mr. Sessions recused himself from the Russia investigation because of meetings he had with Mr. Kislyak. Attorney General Jeff Sessions said he would not be part of any investigations into Russia's role in the 2016 election. Published on March 2, 2017 credit image by Doug Milster New York Times, President Trump fired the FBI director, James B. Comey, citing his handling of the investigation into Mrs. Clinton's use of a private email server. Mr. Comey at a Senate Intelligence Committee hearing on Capitol Hill in June. Credit Doug Milster New York Times to Justice Department appointed Mr. Mueller, the former FBI director, to serve as special counsel and oversee the investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election, including any contacts between Mr. Trump's campaign and Russian officials. Mr. Mueller on Capitol Hill in June. Credit Joshua Roberts Reuters federal agents raided Mr. Manafort's home before dawn, leaving with binders stuffed with documents and copies of the former campaign chairman's computer files. The raid came a day after Mr. Manafort was interviewed by staff members of the Senate Intelligence Committee. FBI agents arrested Mr. Papadopoulos at Dulles International Airport. Mr. Papadopoulos was charged and signed a plea deal two days later. George Papadopoulos pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about a contact with a Russian professor with ties to Kremlin officials. Credit MR. Manafit and his business associate, Mr. Gates, surrendered to federal authorities and pleaded not guilty to charges including money laundering and tax fraud. Paul Manafit surrendered to federal authorities on Monday. Published on Oct. 30, 2017 Credit Image by Alex Brandon Associated Press Eileen Sullivan and Scott Shane Contributed Reporting